Oh hey, hi Mukesh, Pooja, Sudha, the rest of your mentors. I'm Govind Krishnan. As all of you might have heard, um, those of us who joined Mentor recently were divided up into 10 teams and we were each asked to portray a Mentor core value. Well, the value which our team got was ownership and we had 24 members in our team to portray that value. Um, I'd like to own up for the fact that just two of us came forward, so we really didn't do anything of any real value. Furthermore, I'd also like to own up for the fact that we spent the entire budget at 10,000 rupees over at Gazra's Inn brainstorming brilliant ideas which we could have brought to fruition except you see we were busy doing real work. I was mapping out the long term um, plans for Mintra. Oh, I mentioned two people. Well, the other guy, let's just say he likes to make his intro in his own style. Ciao. <laughs> Our story has its humble beginnings in the vegetable markets of Madiwala where one man named Sukesh started out selling oranges. But Sukesh had a big dream to democratize the consumption of oranges in all the farms throughout India. This led to Santra.com which in a few short years became India's largest online orange store. Very soon Santra became a part of the lives of everyday Indians. Attracted by its growth, an external consulting agency approached Santra and convinced the company that it needed the agency's help. The agency declared that it was trendy these days to have core values for a company. It also went ahead and declared the following 10 principles as core values that Santra should follow. Unfortunately, these core values could not strike a chord with the Santrans. The agency embarked on a mission to try and educate the employees. It started by plastering its values in the Santra offices. When that didn't work, it tried depicting oranges fashionably in various exotic settings around the world. It then decided that a more technical approach was required. To this end, the agency screened orange documentaries every Friday. As you can see, these were not very popular either. Hardly surprising given that this is the kind of material that was shown. So, As a last desperate resort, the agency ordered that all the food provided in the canteen should be orange in color so that an orange was never far from a Santan's mind. This led to day after day of orange rice, orange sides, orange sweets and the dreaded amorphous orange curries. After this typical, the agency was let go. The company realized that someone from outside who is a stranger to its culture cannot define its core values. The Santra employees had values instilled in them. That is the reason it got this far in such a short span of time. So K realized that one way to identify these values and bring them to the surface would be to let the employees themselves define and present what they thought were their core values. This is what the employees came up with. All you need to do is now pull it up and there you have your body.
वैसे भी तुम्हारा शटल में किसी एक के साथ आप नहीं कर पाओगे इसलिए तुम दो तुम्हारा एक ठीक है चलो मतबली की गिनती जितनी भी हो अकल की जरूरत है यानी कि us is artificially manufactured guidelines do not have any intrinsic value when the values come from within each one of us we feel ownership over them we connect with them and that's when they become important they become core values ownership and the other core values are not unique just to us in our professional lives these are actually exhibited by the people of india in all walks of life right from the farmer who brings us food onto our plates to the people who provide us clean water to drink to the sportsmen who bring us glory and to the people who protect our country putting their lives at risk all of them exhibit pride and ownership in what they do and strive to give the best the same is true for all of us here at mintra we do not view our core values simply as words written on a piece of paper no instead we are connected to and driven by these values because they come from each of us and our experiences